Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to post a video that was a little different. I haven't been doing a whole lot of solo queuing just because I haven't had a whole lot of time, but it's something I'm really passionate about and really actually enjoy doing a lot. And there's been a lot of questions recently because I haven't gotten to post a solo queue video in a while. And I wanted to post a video not flexing gameplay, but in a sense talking about the reality, the, the harsh reality of solo queuing on Apex Legends. The reason why, let's talk about why you would solo queue. Well, it can teach you a lot about how to isolate opponents in a, in a 1v1 fight, especially if they're full squad. This is going to be solo trios and we playing lots. I'm going to show you real quick a hot drop, and then I'm going to show you a not so hot drop. And I'm going to do my best not to do any editing at all, so it literally showcases like the real reality. So let's say you just want to play by yourself, and you, you know you just kind of want to vibe out by yourself. Tip number one: don't get mad. Don't get frustrated. Don't get angry at the game. You are already at a disadvantage. Other people are gonna be playing with a squad. They're gonna be socially playing. They may just be really good players that randomly got queued together. You are gonna be placed in your MMR where you probably should. So let's talk about a hot drop. Now the reason why a lot of hot drops specifically, and I waited this video for World's Edge where a lot of streamers will wait for World's Edge specifically is because of the zip lines. The zip lines in most of the buildings are a great way to get out and reposition. Now, it is harder to play solo queue as a static, so to, so to speak, no pun intended with the Watson, legend. The downside of playing this type of legend is you're going to run into scenarios where you can't necessarily queue away. I don't know how many people got here, but... So the reason why you use the zip lines here is what you want to do. Is you want to play the zip lines. I don't even know how many people really landed here. Saving away for somebody to make a mistake. I think only one team landed here. If so, that's really important, and I probably shouldn't stay here for very much longer. Yep, I can't stay here. I think it's a full squad of three. So what happens sometimes, you, what you want really to happen into this building, is you want like four or five teams to fight, and I think there's only one squad here, unfortunately. I think they're fighting. I can't actually tell. Let's see here. I'm gonna die. They're not actually fighting here. That's so unfortunate. I'm dead. So if you have a three stack and they're pretty close to holding hands, you want to isolate them out. Okay, well, this guy's going to push me. Drop on me, drop on me. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, rip. Okay, well, that was bad. We, you know, let's do another hot drop in the same spot and see if teams actually land hot. What armor was he? Was I facing a wide armor? Did I just throw my game? I think I did. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. It happens. So there's only one squad there. The idea is that you're able to isolate teams out because you have the, the better, I guess you can call it loadout, the better ability to isolate opponents out. That would have been my moment to knock the Pathfinder, grab his armor, win the fight. My first game on, it happens. Sometimes you just don't win your fights, right? And maybe if I landed more of my alternator shots, sure, that would have been fine. And that would have been my perfect opportunity to fight. And that's just kind of the reality of what you run into. Like nobody in the building landed there and that's usually a hot building. And if nobody lands there, then you have to just reposition and go third. So afterwards, we'll do a game where you play pretty much safe. And sometimes you run into teammates that will hold hands, even if they're not three stacking or they're three stacking or not. Whatever you want to want to throw throw at them specifically, sometimes they'll just stick together because that's what you're supposed to do <laughs> in a team-based game. And they're naturally going to be holding hands. I mean, I even if I'm not in comms with somebody, I'll stick next to a, a teammate. And make sure that I can get out. So the reason why if I'm Watson there, I can't really run away because the Pathfinder is just going to catch up to me. Is if I was Pathfinder, sure I can get away. If I was Wraith, I could pop my Q and run away if I get into a fight and I don't land enough of my shots. If you are playing more of an offensive legend like Horizon, then you can isolate opponents that a little easier that way. With Watson, you pretty much got to predict and have a really good senses on how you're going to win the fight or how you're going to lose the fight, essentially. I decided to stay just for content. If I got it, it would have been awesome. I didn't. That's just the reality of solo king. There's no reason to ever get mad though. At least I know, hey, I need to work on this or I should improve upon this. I shouldn't have waited for so long. I should have just trusted the audio and known what was going to happen and what wasn't going to happen. So that's why you see streamers pop, pop near those buildings specifically. This is a good one here. This is a good one here. You won't see streamers just run in the middle of nowhere, like an open field, because that's just pretty much going to mean death. And if it's going to be death, then you don't want to deal with it. Here you go. There's a lot of people here. This might go a little better. Drop on floor. Back fence. Got armor here so I can probably fight this. There we 
we go. Finish this guy. Grab his armor. One got cracked. Go down here. Wait, we're here. Usually you can put a fence right there on that angle, but I'm just going to top off. Is that a mirage? There we go. Put that there. Go on the other side. There's one guy right there. Go up here. You need to get on the other side, ideally. Shoot, they got the armor. Let's climb up the side after I grab this right here. Let's not throw, though. I'm throwing. I'm bad at the game. Let's actually just do this. Work on your climbing, guys. Oh, hello. Okay, that guy's dead. Let's see if I can get this guy to bait. If not, I'm gonna finish him. I didn't grab the light. I'm bad. I'm gonna reposition. They can see me. 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 I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh god. No. Okay. But that's pretty much it. I guess you could say I I made the mistake of not grabbing the light, and I could have fought the guy. And then once I got CQ'd, then whoever was on their team was just pretty much gonna fight me, and that was gonna be pretty much it. So there you go. I mean, it was sloppy. It, like really really sloppy but we got our fights but you see at that point if you drop hot that's how you get your you're gonna get your 20 bomb especially if you're solo queuing if you're queuing with the team then that's pretty much how you're gonna win i mean there's still a lot of mistakes there one i scaled the building incorrectly two i should have actually grabbed the light ammo and probably fought there and i could have gone for an armor swap right afterwards i don't know why i needed to run i already got seer queued so if they know where i'm at i'm pretty much gonna get shoved no matter what so i just gotta hold my ground and fence instead everything else was pretty decent for the most part otherwise like boom there you go self-assessment what could I have done be very harsh about yourself i hesitated in a few spots and i can remove probably about two or three seconds to really clean up my gameplay so now like let's do a safer drop let's say you drop near an area that is safer but not as hot so then you can go third and you have better weapons and stuff it's very unfortunate i just had an alternator which i'd like it's ideal when you land there if you get like a mastiff even uh eva usually a triple take is really strong um let's say a car smg and r99 a lot of those weapons are really, really strong. The alternator is probably going to be one of your weaker weapons, along with even sometimes snipers, depending depending on how good you are with your single shot. Um, you don't really want to run into a slow burst weapon, unfortunately, because you don't want to be in the fight for very long. Because if you are, well, then you run into those mistakes and those errors, essentially. you got to be fast with looting and just try not to make mistakes. So let's say in an opposite scenario, what we're going to do is that Fragment's always hot, right? So you land right here. There might be one or two teams. If there's a, a team that's landing here, you can try to contest them and isolate them out. This is going to be safer, at least for the most part, because nobody really lands there in pubs. But it is enough for you to grab some stuff and then third party in. Now, let's say this video happens to get a lot of views. Watch it, probably not, and I'll start crying in the comment section. Then you, you know that this is safe, but if it happens magically, get a lot of views. I need to wipe down my sky pad, otherwise I'm gonna spin out. Oh my gosh, I just got like a hair on it. That's so bad. Okay, here we go. Working it live. All right, let's keep going. Let's look at the look, R301, that's not bad. It's pretty good, mid range there. All I need really is armor here in this scenario, and then I'm pretty much set and I go third. When you third, you play aggressively and you do it fast. You don't hesitate and sit there and wait and dilly-dally. If you dilly-dally, you're pretty much throwing your game. Just straight up, just being honest. You want to be fast, efficient, and you want to loot knowing where loot is. That's another tip I can provide. So in the building, you notice I pretty much land in the same spot I knew exactly where the loot was going to be. So land in the spot where you know where loot is going to be. Don't land in spots where you know loot is not going to be. Because what's going to happen? You're not going to get any loot. And if you don't get any loot, you're probably going to lose. So land where loot is. You know, that's uh, tip number one. Let's switch over the Prowler. Prowler's pretty decent in this regard. Uh, let's just rock that. I would go for the single shot, but I guess I'll just go for spray at this point because there's a wingman on the ground there. But my single shot seems to be lacking at the moment. Triple take isn't bad, but this loadout's pretty solid. There's a 2x there. I'm going to pass on that and now go fight. Honestly, my armor isn't very good, but let's see if we can hear some fighting going on. And even then, this you could probably do away with half this loot. But at least I got stuff to really engage with and fight. Been very nice if my helmet was actually a purple body armor instead. So your loadout is very important. The amount of batteries you have is very important. If you're solo queuing, you want to make sure you have a ton, a ton of batteries. If you are towards the end game, you have purple and you're selling in a fight, you're probably going to lose it if the team decides to shove you. So now we just got to be pretty quick and just kind of get into the thick of this. Trying to see if I hear any footsteps. There's one. Defense there. Let's go up top. I don't know the armor since you. What the heck? Excuse me. That's so unfortunate. I'm dead. I'm 
I'm so dead. You should have killed me much faster. That's so unfortunate. Let's do one more. Because, wow, I got charged rifled in the back by somebody who just did not want to engage. There was no shots. I just heard the people in the building. Oh, well, we go again. Seems like every first round is just really bad, and then the second one we do a little better. And that's pretty much how you, like, as you keep going, you'll be better and you'll be a little more patient. But it's like, you don't get mad if, like, you get shot at a random spot. Like, the guy just shot me in the back. I looked at those buildings. Unless somebody would go back in the VOD, if they see somebody was on the corner of my right eye, then I just missed it. But if I missed it, then I need to be more self-aware. Big tip towards me. The reality is solo king. You go again. You keep learning. You make mistakes. And that's just how it is. I should have killed the Vantage there, to be honest. Because I got the jump on them. And they took way too long to kill me. I just whiffed too many of my shots, unfortunately. I guess on, you know what I should do beforehand? Probably warm up for like 15 minutes before I do this. But I saw World's Edge was in rotation and I really, really, really wanted to record this video. I'm actually going on a trip. I'll be away for about four days. It's work related. And I just want to get some content out. So Saturday or Sunday stream might be a little wonky. And so that's why I'm like, oh gosh, I got to get in fast. Because I think World's Edge is a really good example. It's one of my favorite maps, and it's a good example of how to solo queue. You can solo queue very effectively in the other maps, but I just feel like these are better examples. Just because you know like where people in streamer building go. You can find other areas that are just as effective, if not maybe a little better. But hey, live and learn, right? Two teams landing over there. That's strange. Okay, well, nobody's landing with me. But if I get a blue armor, I'm pretty much just going to stop looting and then just go for it. Got my long range, I guess. Gonna rock that. Let's go with the wingman. Maybe my sprays aren't as good. Maybe nothing is good today. I don't know. Okay, I can go third. You know, screw it. I'm just gonna go third that for fun. Just be fast with it. Why not? What's the harm? What's the worst that could happen? Get sent back to the lobby? I'll loot some of these things along the way. Unless they already mopped up. If not, then I'll just run the other way. It's like I could sit there and loot, but I have a wingman and a prowler. Like, it's not the end of the world at this point. Like that. Okay, let's go. Spent way too much time. I was just praying for like a blue or something. Because by the time I get here, I'm probably going to be a little late. So through this. And... I only have a minute to get to the ring. Okay, this one down. I'm gonna finish him. I see the guy on the right. Perfect to fly. I'm gonna take roof. One in doubt, take height. See if he can test me up here. I think it's just one. I'm getting probably bamboozled by the footsteps. I could be wrong. Do I hear two? Oh, it is two. That's so unfortunate. I might, I might die. All right, well, I'm taking way too long. I'm going to take my own advice. Let's see if I can get one of them to bait out like that. I think I'm trying to go with the fence. There's the other guy. Okay. He might be going back for banners too. Let's wait. See that that person? That, I don't think that's part of the squad. Shoot. I don't know what the other guy's doing. I have no idea their armor situation. I could drop down and I'll be fighting somebody with like blue or purple. They were fighting, so... And I saw the other guy. There's a third over there. I think it's a wraith running around. Let's back out. If the Pathfinder yeets forward, that would be perfect. Package being delivered. Headshot. Okay, one of them is white. Might be able to go back in on this then. I thought they would have blues or purples by now. Oh my god, I'm throwing. 
Let's see if I can bait the other guy. He's healing. He's healing. Come on, Patha. Pathy, come over. Okay, so what I did there was I screwed up my aim and I did not down the Pathfinder effectively. Or the Mirage. Okay, now I push. I got this. Dude, it's easy. Now I gotta worry about the one guy that was part of the other squad. I don't know what that guy was doing. See how like I isolate? I was actually expecting the Pathfinder to push. So I, I literally can get 30 like right now and die. Like, uh, it's so, like the worst possible thing that can happen. So I'm just gonna get out. I'm not gonna waste my time looting. I got a decent amount. I got two bats, some cells. I just need to rotate the zone. I don't know where the other guy went though. There was another person. You see what? It, oh my gosh! See, this is why I thought they had armors and stuff, man. Like, look at this! Look at that! Uh, did they like not spend any time looting? I don't understand people, man. Sometimes pubs, dude. People do some weird stuff, which makes it really hard to solo queue sometimes. I'm gonna be honest with all of you. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Because sometimes you think the things that people do, they don't. You would think that they would have already looted this, but they they literally landed on top of each other and almost didn't loot anything. So that's why their boxes are pretty bare. That's unfortunate. But hey, you know, we're kill leader. I mean, unfortunately, I chose the wrong area to go third for kills. That's unfortunate. I'm a little more warmed up. My kill down on the Mirage was embarrassing. <sighs> I wish it wasn't so embarrassing, but you know, we're just going to upload it anyways. And we can go fight over here. It's the fastest way up there. Let's go this way. Let's go that way. Now we'll go third. We'll have some fun. Might be a team in the back. Sometimes people tend to be a little late rotating over here. Just gotta be self-aware. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get right involved with this. Don't pick up any nades because I'm bad. I missed every shot. I'm an embarrassment. Okay, I got was low. That's unfortunate. So that must be in. Oh, they're there. Okay. That means that the Wraith ran away and this other team, I don't want to be involved right here anymore because all three of them are holding hands. Shoot. Wraith, are you serious? Gonna, are you serious about fighting me? Drop down on me. Do it. I dare you. I dare you so much to drop down on me. Do it. Throw your game. Throw your game. Hmm. Okay, all right, let's just go back, right back over here and let's go wrap around. So they call this ducking and weaving, ducking and weaving, you know? I, I, don't, I don't know what the Wraith, I don't know if she was running back to her teammate or what. All right, I'm gonna flank. I'm wasting my shots, I got five bullets. I gotta do something with my life. I don't have any nades. I can make five bullets work. I got bats. I got my gen and take height. White. It's not bad. There's some slow. See if this guy's got any uh, different gun or something. Perfect. I know it's not a good trade right now, but I'm just going to do it anyways because I'm bad. Alright, I can make the room work for me as well, at least. We just gotta duck and weave and hold. We're not doing half bad right now, but the zone is gonna close and we can't stay here forever. At this point, I just wish I had more light. Because I could totally beam if I had more light. I think that's a paid actor. I'm pretty sure that's a paid actor. I'm being shot by other paid actors. That's a paid actor too that just stood out in the open. I'm paying these people, I'm gonna PayPal them afterwards. So I'm not really worried about that guy triple take shotting me. I don't know why he's playing the way he is. I'm in trouble. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm a little more worried now, but not as worried. That's crazy. Let's look for some stuff. I'm essentially going to need to rotate him back out at this point. I'm confident I can win that fight, but... I'm putting that gen down just because I don't want to waste heals and... See if they push me. Vantage sniper? Over to the right? That's confusing. Are they shooting somebody over here? The fence is down just in case. Shove through. I'm so confused why what they're shooting at. 
Oh, there they are. Okay. Good beam, good beam. I can't stay here long. They're gonna push me. And I gotta rotate. I got a minute and six seconds. Let's just go. I can probably win that fight, but I only have so much ammo and I only have so much time and I have the other team to deal with us shooting with triple take shots. But hopefully I can cut these guys off over here instead. That would be ideal. That'd be nice. Team shooting over to my right. We'll just keep pushing through. See, I don't know. It just takes a little bit of warming up too. Sometimes your decision making just isn't on point right away. Solo queuing is an investment. It's a time sink. It's just like ranked. You just, you have to know the right calls and you got to have a bit of luck too. Sometimes you drop and then just like, it's just nothing but bad luck. And you can't get mad about it. There's nothing to get mad about in this game. If, you, if a game truly angers you, you should probably go play something else. I don't know. I don't, that sounds a little blunt, but I don't know what else to tell you. Like you should at least have a good time, you know? So like queuing it in itself is a an experience. Like I'm having fun right now playing like talking with you guys playing it, you know? Oh no, somebody took my kill leader. Alright, you know, we're gonna do this wraparound. Most of the time they'll be over here. That way. So I'm gonna cut them off. I'll fly up instead. Got three bats, I'm pretty healthy, even though I get beamed here. Should be able to get away. I just need to find out where they're at. Six squads remaining, that's not bad. This team Oh, they were exactly where I said they were. So we're gonna do let's ramp all the way around. I'm gonna cut them off over here. I hope I don't land on a team here. That would be very unfortunate. Let's see if I can wrap on it. I don't necessarily want to be cut off, but at least I'm in zone. I'm anticipating most people are playing outside of zone, so it's gonna about to be a choke right there. Because remember, there was a team shooting, two teams shooting here. There's two teams shooting here, so that's four. There's six squads remaining, and there's one sitting on the bridge. So my assumption is that four teams are gonna be pushing this. Oh shoot! What the? Huh? Who plays like that in pubs? Look at that. That's crazy. Look at those people. I just got shot from a charge rifle from Narnia. Okay, so that means one of those teams died out there. I don't know which one though, unfortunately. My assessment was wrong. That's okay. Hello? I'm gonna have the hardest time pushing that team up on a harvester. Or thermal station, sorry. I had to look up the name, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute? Dude, there were so many teams shooting. Like, where'd they go? There was one. Dude, they're healing us out of zone. It's gonna take them 10 years to get in. It's another team going on this. They're all avoiding each other. They're doing it perfectly. That's annoying. Now I gotta wait and go in. 1,200 damage, four kills. Playing it safe. I mean, you see how playing it safe you can get kills too. Ideally, what you would like to do is drop hot get like five or even seven kills have about like 1500 damage give or take depending on how it goes and then start to work your way in you know what i mean that'd, that'd be the ideal world but you don't always get the ideal world this is probably arguably hard, harder to do as watson the uh pushing in like this you really have to be pretty strategic about it I don't necessarily want to rat. The ideal thing for me to do would be to rat if I wanted to win. And if I wanted to play for kills, then I would uh, not rat. Okay, this is more than enough. I'm just going to keep pushing. So this is the dumb thing to do is just keep running around. Ideally, I would hold like a roof or something. Uh, where would be the ideal spot? Probably here Let's or here. One they have up, up top. I could pretend to be a three squ squad it's or something. I assume everyone's still pushing in from right to left for the most part. Outside of the team that's above thermal station. They haven't shot anybody else, and they had a charge rifle. So if there was more teams here, oh, there they go. They pr pretty much would make their presence known. So I can, I guess, hunker down here. I don't really want to. I'd rather go fight, but this isn't awful. Like, it's not the end of the world. I just would rather them fight. That would be ideal. I'm gonna pop my ult excel and grab that nade there. So I have it as utility. I have this here just in case I happen to get pushed. I don't think I'm gonna get pushed. At this point in time. But hey. I you know that's the crazy part. When I see a lot of my game when I play, I see so many flaws. Okay, they're shooting them, but who are they shooting at? I see so many flaws. And even when I play solo, it's like a perfect moment for me to realize that hey. Okay. That's a shame. I think those, I was hitting more of the railing. 
Come on. There we go. This is a better beam. Why are you peeking still, dude? Dude, are you okay? This is such a late nade. Hiya. What if it hits him? God, what I'm <laughs> that would have been really funny though. <laughs> like he was still there after like 10 years. Like I said, it wasn't the best nade. I'm about to get red. I'm running low on light, kind of. Okay, they're fighting. Oh, I want to push so badly. What are the odds of this? Oh, shoot. Hello. They didn't push. Okay, well, that answers my question. At least I'm topping off on my gen. So the plus side of playing Watson is like solo queue. Everyone's just focused on me right now. It's crazy. I just need one bullet to hit. Peek. Do it. Do it. Do it. Get someone to give me the armor. Who are you? Wow, everyone's picking on me. I've, I have three teams looking at one lonely little Watson. I get him putting pressure, but come on, guys. The gen doesn't have anything out of me. Where are you doing? I'm so screwed. Okay. On a scale of being screwed, I'm thoroughly screwed right now. That team's going to push me. I don't want them to push me. Hi. Alright, I threw. I threw. What? What? Huh? That was really strange. Alright, that wasn't that bad then. I thought I threw my game. I wish I had so much more light. Oh my god, she's getting beamed. Where are your teammates? Am I about to get run up on? You're outside of zone, you gotta cross. You gotta cross, man! Are you gonna cross? Oh, shoot. I'm losing so much light. I'm so mad. Alright, I'm gonna go back for that other stuff. That horizon dropped. Oh, so unfortunate. I wish she had light, but she doesn't. This isn't bad. It's not ideal, but it's not bad. What are my options? Watson. I can't jump across that way. I am kind of forced to play this way. The zone is pulling that way. I need this other team to do something besides just stand out in the open. If I go there now, I'm going to get shoved by the resident. That's crazy. That's insane. Why is this team playing so passive back here? So bad. Maybe they think they're... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna play the building. Fight a little aggro. If you guys aren't gonna fight aggro, I'm, I'm cracking all of them. Though. Oh my god, I'm gonna get shot in the back. I am ruining the day. Oh my god. I got a shove, unfortunately. Alright, I'm gonna throw my game. Let's go. Oh, that sucks. 
Oh well, GG's. I got the knock and I did a lot of damage. That wasn't bad. How much damage did we end up doing? 2,600? Alright, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, the reality of solo queuing. I think this last part went a lot better. I, I just wish I was able to push a little faster. If I had a little more light, probably would have taken that a little slower. If I landed my wingman shot, sure. But it is what it is. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everybody.